Why reinvent the wheel when what your competitors are already doing to rank at the top of Google is working? Analyzing the backlinks to your competitors' websites and web pages can uncover actionable link building opportunities for your own website. This video is a really practical guide where I show you how to use a variety of free and paid tools to do a basic backlink analysis on your competitors' websites. Backlinks are a major Google ranking factor, so understanding what your competitors are doing can be key to a successful SEO strategy. The first thing we need to do is consider who our competitors are in the context of link building. Let's start by looking at what the search results look like for the target search term. You probably have a list of competitors to hand, but unless they're ranking for the same search terms that you want to rank for, they're not going to be of much use to us. So say we have a motoring or auto blog and we want to rank for the top family cars for 2022. We'll enter that search term into Google and see which domains are ranking. We'll then make note of these domains in a spreadsheet so that we can look into each of these competitors' backlink profiles. Now that we have our competitors, we need to collect the backlink data to analyse. There are a lot of tools you can use for this analysis, each providing different metrics. So I'm going to take you through a variety of options so you can choose the platform you prefer. We'll start with SERPstat, which is a free all-in-one SEO platform. When you enter the competitor's domain URL, it provides basic domain metrics. Looking at this data will help you narrow down the domains that you want to research further. For example, if the domain that happens to be ranking number one for our target search term has low domain authority and drives little traffic, then their SEO strategy might not be one we'd want to analyze or replicate. So the next step is to check out their backlinks overview in the graph provided. You can then export all the referring domains and filter them by page rank and authority to find the best quality backlinks pointing to that competitor. You can then take this information and with a little more analysis, decide whether this domain is a good one to build a relationship with. Next, we'll look at how we can use the free tools Moz has to offer to analyze competitors' backlinks. You'll just need a free account to access the data. If you enter the same domain that we entered into SERPstat, you'll see that the metrics are different. This is because each platform pulls their data from different sources. That's why I recommend choosing a tool and sticking with it. As with SERPstat, you can check the domain authority. This metric is well known among the SEO community. And although Google doesn't look at domain authority for ranking, it will give you an idea of the quality of that particular domain. Again, we only really want to spend our time analyzing those domains that are of a higher authority. We'll scroll down to the linking domains data and export that data. Moz's data is particularly useful because you can also see a spam score, which lets you know whether the domain is known to provide what some may consider to be spammy backlinks. This data is invaluable because you want your backlinks to be as high a quality as possible. So it helps you filter through the potentially hundreds of thousands of backlink opportunities. SEMrush is another well-known SEO tool, and it's likely that your business already has access to this. If not, don't worry, because again, I'm going to show you how to use the free tool to analyze your competitor's backlink profile to keep this tutorial as accessible as possible. Let's enter the domain here as well but you'll instantly notice that you get more data than Moz. You can scroll down and check the backlink report, and it'll let you know which links are live and which have been lost. If links are lost, this could be an open opportunity for you to replace that space with your own website's link. It'll also tell you if the links are no follow or do follow. It's then up to you which domains you consider building backlinks from based on your SEO strategy. Staying with SEMrush, SEO Quake is a browser extension made by SEMrush. The data is more limited, but if you're strapped for time and only really need the basic metric data, this one is for you. You'll need to connect it to your SEMrush account, but once you do, you'll be able to see a variety of metrics directly from within the search results. You can control the parameters and metrics that are visible in the search results to make it easier to interpret your competitor's data by hiding and removing particular metrics. You can also click into the metric 
and it'll automatically load a more detailed report available within SEMrush. This is a really great workflow, which can save so much time because the data for each domain is instant and we won't need to use our spreadsheet to download and manage a full list of potential domains. Now, I want to put a paid tool in here to show you how much more detail you can go into using Ahrefs. You can really delve deep into your competitor's backlink profile using this tool, and we use it here at Fatjo. Let's enter the competitor's domain into the Site Explorer, where we'll instantly see a top-level view of the website. But because we're just looking at the backlinks and referring domains metrics, we'll stick with these reports. The metrics will provide us with an overview of the number of backlinks that are live right now, those that are live and have been lost within the last 90 days, as well as the number of all the links that are dead or alive. Of course, it depends on how much detail you want to go into, but it's great to potentially be able to see the difference in our competitors' backlink strategy from way back when and how that compares to now, so we can see what wasn't working for them as well as what is. On this graph, we can see the link acquisition over time, which we can filter to analyze based on how historical we want the data to be. The faster the domain is acquiring backlinks, the better. But also, it allows us to consider why they may be dropping or may have dropped backlinks during a particular time period in the past. If you want to choose one of two competitors' domains to analyse further, you can compare the two websites side by side to see which site has been most effective. The new and lost referring domains and backlinks graphs will highlight any spikes which could indicate new link-worthy pages that your competitors are creating. You could make a note of these and consider plugging gaps in your own content to compete. As you look at different spikes for different websites, you can identify patterns to see how they're getting good quality backlinks. For example, they may have redirected some content that isn't as popular to point to the URL in question, meaning a big spike in backlinks for that page. Now you know this, you can decide whether this is a strategy that could work for your website. Let's go back to the referring domains report, where we can see all the linking websites. If there are loads, then you can use filters to show only those domains that could be of interest to us. For example, if we filter by do follow links, we can find only those domains that are passing link equity. We can also sort the number of links to our target domain in descending order and check out the pages with the most referring links. You could even enter a search filter and see whether a specific domain is linking to a competitor. So if we're considering a particular domain to get a backlink from, we can see whether they're linking out to our competitors too. This could mean that we're more likely to get a link from them as well. Make sure to save or download any potentially useful data you've found to be able to analyze your competitor's backlink strategy even further and refer back to if needed. Now that you have researched the linking domains of your competitors, you can add all this data to your Google Spreadsheet, which can be filtered based on the parameters that matter most to your website, which will inform the next steps of your link building strategy. If you have a ton of low quality, no follow links, for example, and you need to build backlinks that pass quality link equity, you'll be able to filter out any domains linking to your competitors with no follow links, and also filter by domain authority to leave you with a list of the most relevant prospects. Another way to analyze this data is to filter by majority, so you can see how the backlinks are weighted. Are there more no follow than do follow? What is the average domain authority of all the linking domains? Considering these kinds of questions specific to your strategy will help to inform your next steps. I've shown you how to analyze and compare the backlinks to competitors' domains but you could be more targeted by analyzing specific pages. I'd say that domains are best if you're looking to raise website authority, increase backlinks, and grow traffic to your website overall. But analyzing specific pages is a great tactic if you have specific content that you want ranked at the top of Google for specific search terms, or if you're considering creating content but want to analyze the backlink opportunities beforehand to see whether the content is worth creating. 
So now that you have an idea of what your competitors are doing to rank at the top of Google for your target search terms, the next step is to consider how you'll reach out to these target domains to establish a relationship. Click the screen now to find out exactly how to do that.